questions for reflection. In this account from the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, which means the beginnings, we see the fall of the human race, the commission of what is called the original sin. Our first parents disobeyed God. They succumbed to the lie of the serpent, the devil, that they could be as God, determining for themselves what is good and what is evil. And that sin separated them from God, from his loving plan, from one another. Notice how the blame game began. And from creation itself. It is a sin which is contracted, the Catechism explains, passed on to all of us. But God did not leave them or us to the bad fruit of their abuse of freedom, their sin. He promised them a way out. In the words long called in theology, the first gospel, God curses the devil and says he will put enmity between him and the woman and between the devil's offspring and hers. The fathers of the church and the Christian tradition see this promise pointing to the choice of Mary as the one through whom the Messiah will come. They also see her as a type, a sign of the church. Do we understand the beauty of this teaching? If not, will we ask the Lord to deepen our understanding during these days of Advent? Today is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception in the Roman Catholic liturgical calendar. The doctrine of the Church which affirms that Mary was chosen, preserved from original sin, for her great mission of conceiving, bearing, and mothering the Lord Jesus Christ. Mary is a gift, a treasure of the Church. Do we have a special love and devotion to her? If not, now is the time to ask the Lord to give us one. In this passage from the letter to the Ephesians, the Apostle Paul explains that the Lord chose each one of us in Christ before the world was even made. How much more important to understand that he chose the woman through whom Jesus the Christ would come to us. One of the earliest titles given by the early church to Mary is the second Eve. Whereas the first Eve said no and succumbed to sin, the second Eve Mary said yes and became the chosen vessel of the Savior. Have we ever pondered this mystery? The word angel means messenger, one who is sent. The gospel appointed for today's Holy Mass explains that God sent the angel Gabriel to announce his plan to save the whole world and begin creation anew through the incarnate word, the second person of the blessed Trinity, Jesus the Christ. This little woman named Mary, more humble than any, was receptive to the invitation. She gave her yes, in Latin, fiat, saying, let it be done unto me according to your word. At that moment, heaven came to earth and earth to heaven. Mary's role in salvation is explained in this way in the Catholic Catechism in sections 487 and 488, and I quote, what the Catholic faith believes about Mary is based on what it believes about Christ. And what it teaches about Mary illumines in turn it's faith in Christ. The Catechism explains what it calls Mary's predestination, and I quote, God sent forth his son, but to prepare a body for him, he wanted the free cooperation of a creature. For this, from all eternity, God chose for the mother of his son, a daughter of Israel, a young Jewish woman of Nazareth in Galilee, a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Mary's free choice is a model for each one of us. Have we given our yes to God's will? 